In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. As we celebrate the Easter season, this, this oct octave of Easter, we thank the Lord for giving us an occasion to thank the Father through Jesus Christ. As we come together acknowledging our sinfulness before God, we say, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God. God. And, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise, praise you. you. We, we bless, bless you. you. We, we adore glorify you. you. We glorify we give you. you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the Father, you take, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy, have mercy on us. us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Holy. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us day by year, year by year, with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, Gracefully grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple, called the beautiful gate every day, to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I have do, have I give you, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarian, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment. 
and what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke His name. Made known among the nations His deeds. Sing to Him. Sing His praise. Proclaim all His wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in His holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in His strength. Seek to serve Him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, His servants, sons of Jacob, His chosen ones, He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, His judgment prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever His covenant, which He made binding for a thousand generations, which He entered into with Abraham and by His oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That every day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk alone? They stopped looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him and replied, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that had taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deeds and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But they were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels 
who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described. But him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him to stay with us, for it is early in evening and days, the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them, and it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were open, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us? When he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us, so they set out at home at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and was appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of bread. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. Please be seated. My brothers and sisters in Christ, good afternoon. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we listen to the word of the scriptures, which we are Again, reminded of the great joy we are celebrating during this time of Easter. Because of our Lord having risen from the dead, triumph over sin, evil, and death. In our first reading today, we heard from the Acts of the Apostles when the two apostles, St. Peter and St. John, came to the temple of God in Jerusalem and encountered a crippled man from birth, asking some money, begging for his livelihood. To the name of the recent Lord, showing the grace and love of God. The Lord healed the crippled man. And in the gospel today, we heard from the gospel of St. Luke, account of what happened on the day of the Lord's resurrection. 
when the disciples first heard about the Lord Jesus having risen from the dead, and the two disciples on their way towards the village of Emmaus, this was one of the recent Lord appeared to his disciples, showing them that he has indeed risen as the others had said, and many becomes witnesses of his resurrection, his triumph against sins, evil, and death. Make us all be strengthened and encouraged what we have heard from the scriptures passage today. May the recent Lord continue to help and strengthen us in our respective mission and vocation in our lives, that we may always strive to be truly worthy and good in all of our every action, words, and deed, so that we may be good role models and inspiration to everyone all around us. May all those who witness us may come closer to him to be touched by his light and grace and come out from the darkness and sin that is all around in this world. Amen. Peace be with you all. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Stand. Thirst that these my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, you laud us, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Sana in the highest. 
those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with our Pope Francis and Gilbert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Able to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. which will be done is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Father Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. Oh, 
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietro Alcina, Outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede. Bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the gospel that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una sa inyong pagbisita sa pambansang Dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit, hangad po namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, sa paligid po ng ating simbahan, may makikita kayong mga QR code. Pakiscan po at pakilagay na mga ilang hinihinging detalye tulong sa ating documentation program upang maisaayos natin ang mga data ng mga pilgrims at devotees na bumibisita sa pambansang Dambana. Makakaasa po kayong sa pamagitan ng Data Privacy Act ng 2012 Iingatan namin ang inyong mga private informations na ibabahagi sa atin para maging matagumpay ang proyektong ito. Ngayon pong darating na Sabado ay unang Sabado ng buwan. May pagpaparangal tayo sa mahal na birhen ng mga biyaya. May prosesyon sa ikalima ng umaga, magsisimula sa may Fountain of Hope. Sa mga sasama kayo po inaasahang magdadala ng kandila na may pansalo. Gayon din po ngayong Sabado, Maghapon pong may mga bisitang mga kabataan at mga religious congregations para sa tao ng vocation jamboree. Asahan po ninyong maraming tao ngayong darating na Sabado. In the name of His Excellency, Archbishop Gilbert Garcera, we would like to welcome each one of you at the Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio, especially his classmates at the minor or high school and college seminary, the Holy Rosary uh, Seminary Nueva Cáceres. Namely, Monsignor Rodel Cajot, Monsignor Noe Bajola, Father Cesar Bongon, 
Mr. Pepe Pimentel, Mr. Cecilio Bismonte, Mr. Mar Payabyab. Welcome po sa National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. I also would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to His Excellency, Archbishop Gilbert, for presiding the Mass this afternoon. Marami pong salamat. Please all stand. I would like to thank Father Pepe Pimentel, who gave us a very nice reflection in this third day after Easter Sunday. Maraming salamat, uh, Father Pepe, for delivering a beautiful homily. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia.